Uh, well, Graham, great to see you. Um, one defeat in your last ten games. How good a moment are you right now? Do you think? Um, well, we're in a we're in a good place. Um, we're, we're doing okay. Um, we, we we always look to improve. We always look to get better. Um, I think we've 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 grown a hell of a lot over the last couple of couple of months. Uh, we've matured. We've managed games well. I think we're looking a lot stronger. We're looking a lot fitter. Um, we're probably a different proposition now than when we were um, when I first came in. And I, I think from the time coming in, I think gradually we've grown, we've improved, we've got better. But um, like I say, you're only you're only one ga- bad game or one result away from uh, from um, a, a crisis in football. And we, we look and we aim to win, um, certainly compete, and to win every game we play. So uh, it's 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 nice. It's a nice feeling, and, and that the players how they've worked. I'm delighted for them because they've worked extremely hard. But they know, and I know, and I think uh, the supporters will know. There's a lot of work to still to be done, and there's a lot of work ahead of us um, to improve even more. Um, you talk about being a different proposition. How much a factor in that is the arrival of the new players that you signed in January? How much of an impact have they made? Yeah, I think look, I think that's that's playing for all to see. We needed we needed bodies, we needed new faces, we needed uh, proper characters, we needed good good lads. Everything we're about, and the lads have come in. You know, the four lads have, have come in and done brilliant for us. I think there was six or seven departures, and, and four lads have come in. So, they've uh, they've given us new dimension and um, dynamic of the team has changed, and a little bit of competition has changed. The character of the team has changed and, and, and grown and evolved. So uh, yeah, I was I was look I was I was desperate to get to the to the January window. To be quite honest with you, we got to the January window. We couldn't quite do what we we wanted or what we had planned in January. Um, we we lost out on a, on a couple of, of, of players, but uh, what what we got, we were we were more than happy with. Um, and uh, it, it's 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 paid off. Uh, pay, uh, paid off. Sorry, uh, January the the, the window and and. and uh, the, 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 the scouting that we've done and the recruitment that we've done and the hard work that, that myself, Joe and Chris Finn put in over the years, um, uh, I think it's, 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 it's worked really really well for us in January. But the lads needed help, our group needed help, they needed a little bit of pressure release, they needed, they needed some freshness and I think the January window allowed us to do that. I've also got to go back to uh, one or two games being called off which allowed me to have two weeks on the training ground with the players. Um, a full two weeks, which is something we were desperate for as well. So that was big as well for us, uh, the timing. But it's like everything in football, timing is massive. Timing in football, timing in life is massive. And uh, the January window coincided with one or two games being called off and we were just, we were just able to, uh, to, to, to reset, regroup and, uh, and realign our, uh, our principles and, and how we wanted to play and go about the, 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 the final 20, 22 games of the season. Yeah, you've definitely made the most of that opportunity that's presented uh, it to yourself. I was reminded this morning of something you said to us right at the start, crawl, walk, run. So where are you, do you think, on that evolution right now? Still crawling. <laughs> you didn't think I was going to say that, did you? Did you? <laughs> Look, we've, uh, we've a long way to go. We've, uh, we, 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 still, we, still have to, we still have to secure... And make sure we're uh, we're we're we're, uh, we're we're beyond that stage. Obviously, um, we, we can't jump from one stage to the next. We're still not the finished article. We've got a long, long way to go. Um, we've got a set target that we want to reach, which we keep in house. Obviously, we, uh, we 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 want to win as many games as we possibly can. We don't talk too far. You guys will know know this better than most. We don't talk talk too far down the line. We deal with the next game. Um, and, and I've got big, we have a big saying on, on, on the pitch and in training, winners win the next game. And that's all we aim to do is we, we try and win the next game. Um, and that's, that's basically the mentality and, and, and the mindset that we've tried to drill into the players. So we deal with the next game and, and, and that's us. We don't look too far ahead. Um, we don't speak about too far ahead. We don't look too far ahead. The next game is the next game and that's all we really focus on. So uh, we're, we're in a good place going into the next game. So. We're we're, uh, we're strong mentally and physically at this moment, so I'm a lot stronger than when, uh, when, when I first picked the group. So you might have already answered this question then. I know you don't talk about relegation. What about at the other end? Because a few Newport fans have started to think that maybe the playoffs might not be out of reach. No, that's a lot of nonsense. That's that that's nonsense. Um, look, we we one week we're in a in a in a relegation battle. The next week we're talking about let's let's have some realism. Let's um, let's just 
look at this club was was in a spot of bother when I when I picked it up, and um, we've we've worked really really hard, and uh, we we still have a lot of work to go, uh, a lot of work to do. So um, let's uh, as I say, let's try and win the next game of football, and that's all I'm 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 interested in. I've got a set total in my head that I want to get to, uh, and until we reach that 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 point, I won't relax, I won't be happy, and I won't set. Um, but look, we've got a mountain of work to get through between now and the end of the season. Um, we, we, we win the next game, that's all we're interested in. And uh, it was nice that the players climbed a couple of positions the other night, but um, we're not even in the top half of the table, so uh, I think that's a load of nonsense. What about the next game? Sutton, like yourselves, are in very good form. I think no one has collected more points than them in the last 10 games. How difficult a prospect are they going to be? Well, I think you've just. Um, you, 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 you've just answered the question really with with that nobody's collected as many points as them so it's going to be a massive massive challenge it's it's, it's going to be a tough game again it's going to be another physical game um, they're, they're very uh, they're very athletic they're big they're a big team they land on uh, on, on, on a lot of ball in, in, in your box they cause you problems uh, they're expansive and uh, they're energetic they've had a, a good week um, they've, uh, they've not had a midweek game, they've not had midweek travels, so uh, yes, we are up against it. Yes, it is going to be tough, but every game is tough in this division. Every game is a massive, massive challenge, and there's not, nothing, uh, nothing comes easy in league, in league Two. And like I keep saying to the players, if we don't battle, if we don't fight, if we don't scrap, if we wait on things to happen, um, we, we, we will uh, we, we, we'll get done. Um, we'll, we'll obviously have words at half time. We'll end up changing the team at half time and doing, doing, doing daft things. Um, that, that we don't want to be doing. So we need to be at it from the off. We need to be up in their face. We need to match everything that that, that, that they chuck at us, and we need to uh, we need to be the best and, and, and show the best version of ourselves that we possibly can be to, uh, to 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 get anything from this game Saturday. Because this is going to be a massively tough, hard, physical encounter. But when you play those big teams at home, I think like the Leighton Orient, for example, just uh, before the turn turn of the year. You really did do all those things that you just mentioned there and showed the best version of you. Yeah, we did. We did. We, we were competitive and that's one thing that we needed to be and that's one thing that every team needs to be in this division. Um, obviously, Sutton are chasing playoffs. Sutton are, are, are up that end of the table. They're up there for a reason. They're a good team. They're a good team. They've got some really good players. Um, they've shown a, a, a lot of consistency, a lot of growth as well over, over the couple of seasons. So. Uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Yes, we've we've competed against uh, the, some of some of the, the, the bigger boys in the division. Um, so uh, you know, to, to compete against the better teams, we need to bring our A game, and we certainly need to. Uh, Sutton are certainly one of the better teams in the division, so we need to bring our A game on Saturday, and we need to show a little bit of uh, calm composure on the ball. We need to we need to play a little bit more, and uh, we need to. We're, we're we're probably one of the top teams in the division. The stats stats will bear this out. We we average 15 to 20 shots per game, so um, we're we're probably one of the top teams in, in in that sense. But now I'm asking us to to maybe convert a little bit more. I'm asking us to be a little bit more clinical in the final third, and to maybe uh, to maybe go and see if we can put a run of clean sheets and a run of victories uh, together. So there's little challenges everywhere, um, little personal challenges, individual challenges, unit challenges, and team challenges everywhere. So um, we, we just got to turn up on Saturday because if we don't turn up, we'll uh, we, 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 we'll come unstuck and, and, and we'll uh, we'll get a size nine up our backsides because uh, something are a really really dangerous, athletic, physical team who are doing uh, tremendously well in the division and who are chasing playoff places. So we know what's coming. We, we know what type of game it's going to be, and, uh, and, and I hope we'll be prepared. We, we, we should be prepared, and, and I think we will be prepared for what's coming. Can I ask you about injuries? Um, Nick Townsend didn't play uh, in, in the week. Um, what's the score with him? Yeah, Nick picked up an injury. He travelled with us, as, as I said, Tuesday night. He travelled with us on Tuesday night. Um, he wasn't quite right to play. Um, he was uh, in. The, he trained this morning. Um, well, the rest of the lads, the rest of the lads didn't. He trained today, so he, he seems okay. Again, we'll assess him again in the morning. It's one of them injuries. It's day to day. It's nothing serious. Uh, we're hoping he's, he's 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 fit and able to train again tomorrow morning, and he's uh, and we're hoping he's in the in the squad on Saturday. Adam Lewis. Yeah, we just have a couple of little look. It's it's like every team. Uh, every team will have bumps and bruises. Every team will have knocks. Uh, the majority of these lads, uh, the majority of the absentees, are day to day. We're trying to look at them. We're trying to have a, a, a assess them every day. 
um, you know, if, if there's anything too serious to go for scans and, and vice versa, we're waiting on, on one or two results coming back. But there's nothing too serious. There's nothing too too drastic. And um, again, it's just day to day, really. Um, we've had a, a, a tough schedule. We've had a lot of travel. We've had a lot of games over the last couple of weeks. Um, so listen, it's just again, it's about assessing them day to day and seeing where they are, and, and, and if we can get them back fit and ready for Saturday, that'd be brilliant. Um, but the lads who have stepped in have done done excellently well as well. So it's uh, one door opens, another one, or one door closes, another one opens, and, and, and that's the way football is. So there's nothing particularly serious as far as Adam is concerned, as far as you are. Not that I'm aware of. No, no, not that I'm aware of. And, and like I say, the, the next 24, 48 hours will be uh, will be pivotal in uh, in. in that to be fair, if he's if he's fit, Adam, uh, if he's fit, Adam will so, uh, he, he will he will play for us because he's been excellent for us. So we we'll we're, we're assess him again and, and, and look and see and find out uh, the extent of of, uh, of his injury. Let's look on Saturday, Greg. Thank Brilliant, you. thank you. My friend, because James White was that a selection when I was here and Nicola as well. Wait, he has a yeah. Wait, he went over on his angle. Oh. Um, he went over on his angle in training. So um, he he's, he's again he was out on the training ground this morning, but. Like I said, there's nothing too serious. The only serious one we had was Declan, Declan Drysdale, who's uh, who's been out for, for a couple of weeks. Um, but like like I said, the physios working hard, and we've been really really fortunate with the uh, the injuries. To be fair, we've not had um, we've not had too much to deal with. Uh, again, that was one of the big things I had to do when I come in was obviously condition them and get them conditioned so they could uh, could deal with the run of games we had and the run of games that's coming up next week as well. Certainly, so, it's a better side that. But what because they came up, maybe, perhaps they they thrive when people do want perhaps take them lightly. But complacency is something that's but I've only been dealing with you four months, but that's something that you won't entertain. Well, I I I give myself a little bit of credit, and I give my players a little bit of credit. We, we we're probably nowhere near the complacency uh, a complacent club. We're not a complacent management team, and we're not a complacent uh, group of players. And there's no way in the world we will take any team. Uh, never mind a promotion chasing team in Sutton. There's no way in the world we, we would take them, them complacent. We know this is going to be a real, real hard, tough test. Sutton are flying, quite rightly pointed out, quite Sutton are, uh, are flying for a reason. And if we take them lightly, we'll get done. And, and it's as simple as that. So uh, we, we, we need to be at it. We need to compete for every ball. We need to do our jobs. And uh, we, we need to bring that quality to the, to the table to, uh, to get out now this game on Saturday. I was asking about Matt Baker, he really sort of caught the eye really in, in a tough tough game on, on Tuesday. What, what, what do you have you been impressed by his early early Yeah, games? yeah, Matt's a great lad. Um, he's he's a great kid. He, he, he gives us that's that was one of the reasons why we brought him in. He gives us that versatility, um, he gives us that mobility. Um, young lad again learning his learning his trade. Um, he, he can cover a couple of positions for us, which was which was one of the attractions. But um, I've seen him play a couple of times, and we've had had him watch. And obviously, with with all the the loneliness, I wouldn't take players in if I if I didn't know them, if I didn't see them. But the one thing, not the one thing, but there's several things that struck me about Matt was his character, um, was 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 the way he was, his leadership, um, was his presence, and uh, and I just felt his work rate, his attitude, and his commitment, and um, the way he was as a character would fit into a change room, um, whether he was up playing with starting games or not. And I just thought, as soon as I seen him, and uh, we, we, we've done some a lot of homework on him, uh, Dave Hibbert, who I played with at Shrewsbury, is the loans manager at Stoke. So we had uh, we had constant dialogue with, with, with Dave, and um, it was, it was I, th I think it was a no-brainer for us, really, to be honest, because of the predicament we were in with, uh, obviously, with Declan, and, and um, I've lost one or two uh, players, Matty Dolan had, had left, and, so Matt could go in, Matty Baker could go into midfield, he could go in uh, as a defender. So that versatility was a, was a big attraction. But for the, the, the main attractions was his qualities, his mobility and his, uh, his character, his walk rate, his attitudes. They attracted me and they were, was what first caught my attention when I seen him play. Because he's a defender who's been playing midfield, probably. Probably say, but it's probably it's useful for you to get good grounding in the team in a, in those positions in in front of a very solid three. Well, well, we had to give him we had to give him grass time. We had to give him training time because it's not easy when you come from 21s football um, and you go straight into the first team environment, uh, getting used to the culture. It's the same with uh, it was same with Cav and uh, and Charlie. 
you know, they, 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 they need to find their feet at this level. Cav not so much because he's had experience with Harrogate, but Charlie and Matty haven't had loan experiences before. They haven't gone into different cultures, different environments, different changing rooms. So it was really important that we got them in and we give them a, give them a couple of weeks and to, to, to get used to the boys and, and, and get used to our way of walking, our principles and, and, and our walk ethic. So it, was, uh, it wasn't a case of just chucking them in. Um, we, we needed to, to bed them in and, and, and we had a, a couple of days with them. They're still learning, they're still growing, but I think the experience that the, that the pair of them are getting, Cav included, the three of them, I think the experience they're getting here is, uh, is brilliant for them. It's a great learning curve and I do believe it's a great place to walk, it's a great place to learn and, and you know, you're with some really, really good people who will help them and, uh, and, and they've done brilliantly well for us so far. But it's early days. There's a lot more to come from them, I believe. Did he play much midfield, or was it just he had the attributes and could play midfield? He's he's not played midfield. No, he's played centre half um, with uh, with Stoke and with Wales. Um, he's not played in midfield. Um, Matty will tell you he has, but that's because he got lost or he got cut out position. But he's uh, he's not played in there now. So we just um, I, I see seen quite a bit. I've seen it throughout my career. I've I've had to do it on a couple of occasions myself. So um, it's 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 one of those things. If 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 you uh, if you've got attributes, you've got mobility. Um, it's 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 a position, and it's it's something that's really helped us through the night as well. So look, it'll be horses for courses again. It'll depend on opposition. It'll depend on where we are, home and away, things like that. Where 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 Matty's positional uh, play comes in. Nice bonus though, isn't it? When you get someone who can slot in like that. Well, look, as I, as I said, I've got to take my hat off to, to, to the help. Uh, I, I was given by with Joe and Dave Hibbert at Stoke and Chris Finn. And, and, and so we're, we're all knowledgeable guys. We know the game. We know the, we, we know the league. We know what's needed. We know what's not needed. So, uh, look, they, they, they helped me out no end and, and they continue to help me out. And again, it's, it's, a, it's probably about having, having good contacts and good people, having a good eye, maybe a little bit of uh, knowledge and experience of the division. I don't know. Put it down to, put it down to whatever. I don't know. But it, it's... It's uh, it, it's 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 nice that, that that we can we can identify and bring in some decent players. Lewis Trimley, is he just going to bide his time? He obviously returned to what? What's uh, that for? Lewis Trimley to get into, to get a bit more uh, to force his way into the squad. Is he still training? He's obviously come back from Ponty, isn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah. Lewis has returned from uh, Lewis has returned from Ponty. He's training with us. Yeah. He's he's there thereabouts. With the, with the, he's training with the with the, with the group. He's a development player who's, who's he trains with us now and again at that first team level. He's come back from Lowe. He Trained this morning. A group of lads had a, had a training session this morning. Perfect. That's it.